Showtime presents one of the most talked about, written about, controversial movies of the year. Alita. The New York Times calls it stunning and emotionally gripping. The most dazzling is Mr. Iron's performance, among his absolute best. The Wall Street Journal claims it a film for our time. And the New York Observer raves, brilliant. Titanic swept the Oscars in a year when Lolita should have. Jeremy Irons, Melanie Griffith, Frank Langella, introducing Dominique Swain in a film directed by Adrian Lyne, Lolita. Saturday evening at 9 o'clock on Showtime. Coming up next, Sherilyn Finn is Billy Franks in the new Showtime original comedy series, Rude Awakening. But first, here's a look at WBA and IBF boxing action this weekend. Once it was boxing's glamour division, today Showtime and a new generation of middleweights are looking to restore the glory. Now a battle that bridges the present and the past, WBA champion William Joppy takes on the legend Roberto Duran. And IBF champion Bernard the Executioner Hopkins turns his arsenal on number one contender Robert Allen. It's a middleweight championship doubleheader. Joppy versus Duran. Hopkins versus Allen, Friday at 10, only on Showtime, America's number one boxing network. Outstanding nation, Pushing the limits. Outstanding Taking the risk. Tales of the Outstanding city. Crossing the boundary. Jack Lemon. For 12 angry All men. part of Showtime's original program. Lovely Dukakis for Armistead Moffins. More Tales of the City. Sigourney Weaver for Snow. Showtime Lemon. proudly yeah. salutes their 1998 Emmy Award nominee. The Hume Cronin. George C. Scott for 12 Angry Men. Outstanding special visual effects for a series. Stargate SG-1, Children of the Gods. Outstanding Innovation Angry has its reward. Showtime. Showtime. Take a look at Rosanna Arquette, Paul Hogan, and Judge Reinhold in Floating Away. Showtime brings together the director of Saturday Night Fever, the stars of Crocodile Dundee, uh -oh. Beverly Hills Cop, and Crash, and an unforgettable novel to create a compelling new Showtime original picture, Floating Away. Tim Sandlin had done an absolutely wonderful job of adapting his own book into a screenplay. The novel was called Sorrow Floats, about a young woman trying to come to terms with her life. Boy, damn it! Pull out of the side of the road! Ah, hell! Her drinking gets her into some serious trouble so that she pretty much just loses everything. Her home, her family, and her money. We're really trying to follow this character that Rosanna Arquette plays and try to see a lot of the story through her own eyes. Look. I can quit whenever I want. I just haven't wanted to yet. As soon as I read it, I wanted to do it. Unlike some stories about alcoholics, which just get to be really depressing, this sees a full spectrum of somebody's life and crazy characters that you run into, the funny things, the humorous things. Maybe she's got a psychosomatic disorder. Not likely. Glenn is from Dallas. It's a, a contemporary Steinbeck feel. But then it has this kind of gonzo part, too. The story needed a director good at drama and comedy, and that was John Badham. But Badham had reasons of his own for wanting to direct the film. Television often allows you to be more true to the material, and you can try things that are more radical than you could try in a commercial movie theater. For Paul Hogan, the attraction was John Badham and everything else. Funny work about once every two years. There's going to be something that's really sort of, I want to do or it looks like fun. Floating Away, a Showtime original picture adapted from Tim Sandlin's novel. Premieres Sunday, August 30th, only on Showtime. Sundance on Showtime. Coming this Monday. The Journey Light. I came to talk about my job. The only job you're gonna get in here is pushing up daisies from a pine box. Is written by fate. I want him brought here to me. Alive or dead don't matter. Sometimes we find our own way. Did you kill the white man who killed you? I'm not dead. What name were you given at birth, stupid white man? I'm William Blake. And you are a dead man. Sometimes we have a guide. That weapon will replace your tongue. And your poetry will now be written with blood. You William Blake? Yes, I am. Do you know my poetry? Filmed by Jim Jarmusch, starring Johnny Depp, the dead man. Premiering Monday at 10 on Sundance on Showtime, the best of new independent film. It's breeding under the...
the city. Here's Mira Sorvino in Mimic. Strickler's disease came to New York like a thief in the night. We recombined termite and mantid DNA to create a biological counteragent. A new species to be our six-legged ally in wiping out the roach population. They were designed to die. They are breeding. We changed the DNA, Peter. I mean, we don't know what we did. So you think your little Frankenstein's got the better of you? You better tell me what the hell's going on around here. From executive producer Barbara Streisand. I'll help you if I can. Okay, thank you. What are you, a Jew lover? In a time of fear and betrayal, two Christian families make a stand. They are circus, Maria, just like us. They're our family. Hiding friends. You're safe with us. Saving strangers. These people were helping Jews. Go. Risking everything. <laughs> Daryl Hannah, Tim Matheson, Robin Tunney, Michael Rappaport in the Showtime original picture, Rescuers, Stories of Courage. Premiering Sunday, September 27th, only on Showtime. This is Scott Wagner. He's just lost his job. You're fired! And he's about to lose control of his house, too. Benny, the family dog. Let's just say that Benny and Scott don't play well together. Let's go, Benny, if you ever want to eat again. And then there's Dylan, Scott's son. He's a wheeler, dealer, and this kid's got connections. Phil, let's talk features, shall we? Yeah, little Jerry Maguire. All right, what do you want? Ten percent of Benny's earnings gross before Phil's commission. When Benny becomes the top dog in show business, their money-making scheme turns into a dog-gone problem. Somebody busted the lock and stole Benny. Matt Frewer, Rhea Perlman, and Trevor Morgan are in the doghouse, premiering Sunday, September 6th, only on Showtime. Oscar winner Louis Gossett Jr. and Jonathan Silverman in The Inspectors. Here's a look. For an inside look at a Showtime original picture, Showtime Spotlight. Nobody's done stories about the postal uh, inspectors. And there's always something in the newspapers about them getting their mail. Showtime takes you inside America's oldest law enforcement agency as they try to stop a vengeful killer. The Postal Inspection Service has confirmed that the explosion was the result of a mail bomb. Louis Gossett Jr. and Jonathan Silverman star in the Showtime original picture, The Inspectors. It's an honor to portray. Uh, one of these gentlemen. Uh, up until three months ago, uh, I didn't know anything about uh, the U.S. Postal Inspection Service. These guys are in the trenches every day, and they don't, uh, they don't screw around. These are tough cookies. They're the oldest police force, if you want to call it that, um, in America. They were created by Benjamin Franklin. So they started on horseback, and they looked like the Mounties. They got their man on horseback. I don't care where he went, they got them in. You've got no jurisdiction here. Postal inspector has jurisdiction everywhere. If this kid should get on a plane and go to China somewhere, I'm on the first plane to Beijing to bring him back. And I want you to open that cell, let that kid out, right here and right now. OK, here we go. Roll. The postal inspectors investigate about 18 explosive devices sent to the mail each year. And we've taken bits and pieces of uh, uh, several of those cases to come up with this composite case. And uh, basically everything that you're going to see in this movie is based on a, an actual case file. What's going on? I think they made a second bomb. It's a case of revenge and murder and a bomb in the mail to another victim. Postal inspector, step away from the truck. Academy Award winner Louis Gossett Jr and Jonathan Silverman star in the Showtime original picture, The Inspectors, premiering Sunday, September 20th, only on Showtime.
here's a preview of tonight's episode of Lynx, starring Pam Greer and Stephen Williams. Have you paid a visit to our hot new series, Lynx? No, you did Then you're missing the show TV Guide calls sexy, edgy, and funny. And she's a hot. She's a witch. And Variety hails its superb cast. Something exceedingly strong. Starring Pam Greer and Stephen Williams. On the next Lynx. Sex. Harlan and Cece are out on a date. You, my friend, are having a booty mirage. Cece does not care for rumpled, middle-aged white men. Shazam! It'll put a smile on your face. I'll say it again. Sex! Lynx. Tonight at 11.30 on Showtime. On the next episode of Rude Awakening. No, not gonna believe it. Billy gets sober. Speaking of bitches. Okay, okay, we're sharing, but we're not caring. Shut up, and that's not all. Billy gets a sponsor. I'm talking about the hole in your soul. No one thought it was gonna be pretty. Billy finds God? That's it. I'm praying to John Travolta. Oh, honey, there's a lot of things I'd like to do with John Travolta. The Show TV Guide rates a 9 out of 10. Rude Awakening, next on Showtime. Showtime. The following presentation is rated TVMA.